We all know that water boils at 100 degrees Celsius, and that it freezes at 0 degrees Celsius. But is that really true? Take a look at this graph. On the x-axis is pressure, and on the y-axis is temperature. As we can see, the boiling point of water decreases with pressure. For example, if you're on the top of Mount Everest, the atmospheric pressure is reduced by 66%, meaning water will boil at a temperature of 68 degrees Celsius. I don't like this. The Celsius scale of 0 to 100 is sensible since we all love the decimal system. However, the scale is based on a specific set of atmospheric conditions. So why don't we examine how Fahrenheit is defined? According to Wikipedia, the Fahrenheit scale is defined as having a boiling point of water at 212 degrees and freezing point at 32 degrees. But I don't think this is the best way to interpret the Fahrenheit scale. Let us instead consider Fahrenheit in terms of the human body. 100 degrees Fahrenheit is an upper limit on the healthy temperature for a person undergoing normal homeostasis. At the other end of the scale, 0 degrees is approximately the lowest mean temperature a human can endure long term. Yakutsk in Russia holds the title of the world's coldest city, with a mean winter temperature of minus 34 degrees Fahrenheit and year-round average of 10 degrees. This is extreme. Why is relating temperatures to human bodies better than the properties of water? Well, whilst water can boil at different temperatures depending on its pressure and purity, if a human body temperature lies outside a very tight range, then death is imminent. Hence Fahrenheit is superior since 0 to 100 reflects human endurance and is relevant no matter where you are. 